Patrick McNeil back here with you at the intermission. Tonight we've contacted Chief Leroy Denny, who is president of the Escazone Eagles hockey team. I guess Leroy will start off. What are your thoughts on the start of the season for your Escazone Eagles? We had a good start, a couple wins, and we had a really good jump start considering last year we were brand new. The market out there is not really very difficult, more like a competition against the miners and Pulloxbury. Pool of players was kind of difficult to pick up. This year we had a good stable base and Last year, it took us probably halfway through the year before we started winning games. And now we picked up right away in the season. Tough competition going on. Still early in the season. You mentioned the process of picking up players. How does that work in the Junior B League? Is everybody a free agent? How do you add talent to your roster? Yeah, everyone's a free agent. But you can pick up players. You have a 30-kilometer radius to call them your own zone. The miners have their own area, which would be the Sydney area, Lakes Bay area. We would pick up the county area and with the minors. But pretty much anybody can play from away. And priority is education, of course. Some people who, who come down here to go to school at CBU or NCC and they want to play hockey. And also, you get to pick up players from the waiver draft. And pretty much invite. We invite players and they show up and some people contact us and they want to play some junior hockey. That rink has been there a long time, as far as I know. Who yeah, came up with the, the idea? 70s, yeah. Yeah, so who came up with the idea of finally putting a junior team there? It's been a long story, but I'll try to make it short. A friend of mine, we have a hockey team, and we're always fundraising. Just us guys, we used to go to states, and they're called weekend hockey tournaments. And you go to a hockey tournament, but you go to an NHL game with a package. We did that for almost five years. On our fourth year, we were fundraising money. We ended up fundraising over $100,000. Very similar to Chase the Ace, but it was called Catch the Joker. Almost every community had Chase the Ace. So we changed it around. We called it Catch the Joker, and the jackpot went up to $110,000. We were giving away money to charity around our community. We sent this little girl to Wish Foundation to Florida. She was rejected by Wish Foundation. So we were doing all these things, and we had a good chunk of money left. And, and we said that we should do something for the community that will benefit in the long range. We love hockey. And we said... We should try to submit an application to the Nova Scotia Junior Hockey League. And we did our sales pitch, and we showed our budget. We showed that we have startup money. We accepted our application. The only Junior Eagles were born. We had our inaugural season last year. We didn't make the playoffs, but right now we're battling for a place that can kick you now. So that's our focus this year is to make the playoffs. And, and our players are very eager to make the playoffs. They're coming around, and we have a good team of both Eskimo players and players from around Cape Breton. We hope you do make to the playoffs. As you said, this is an example of giving back to the community. Has the community returned the support? What kind of crowds are you seeing at Eagles games? We've been getting good crowds. Talking to other player teams, other owners, they enjoy coming to the Kazoni. We have a good volunteer system. Our security is very safe, safe environment. We get to express our culture, our language. We always want to do that. We play our indigenous music and we sing all Canada and Mi'kmaq. We sing the honor song and we play some indigenous songs and share our culture and educate everybody. I think it's a good that we get to do that and we use our language a lot in, in the dressing room and even non Mi'kmaq players are picking it up and we teach them and they feel part of the community. They enjoy being an eagle, being part of Eskazoni. It's exciting and playing for our community and when we're honored that we have players coming in from our side and Sydney. It's really good hockey, good atmosphere. Probably average 250 people on a Good night. If the miners come in town or the pirates, that's when you picked up. For sure. The battles of Cape Breton are good draws. Lastly, I'll ask, who were some of the key players on your team this year? Last year, our scoring leader was well, Dumas Simon. He had 30 plus goals last year. Jacob Denny, one of our locals. This year, we had Trent Reardon. We have Kinnan Williams also doing a really good job. Play for the Redmen last year. Doing really good. Racking up the points. We have Vinny Stevens, you know, our defenseman, Alexander Denny, our goalie, second year now. We had Brody Dawson, one of our top defensemen, broke his leg. It was a big loss for us, our top defenseman. Probably one of the hardest shots in the league. Try to hit one of the players and missed them and broke his leg on the board. We picked up quite a few players from trade, either with the Miners or with the Pirates, right? So we do a lot of exchanging with those teams close by because they want to play in Cape Breton. They have an option. There's three teams in Cape Breton, and we kind of feel we're the last option. We're the underdogs and the rugged team. And the boys are battling every game. Physical. They skate really hard. They hit, and they go all out.
And I think that we had a really bunch of close games. And we beat Anaganish the other day and went to uh, Anaganish. And the, the players over there, God knows where they come from. They came from university there and play for the, the Bulldogs. They have a lot of better options right out there than us. So battling, playing with heart. Our goal right now, again, is make it to the playoffs. And I believe we will. We wish you all the best and hope that you'll be in the playoffs. Sounds like a good experience to see a game in Escazoni. Thanks for telling us all about it. Okay, thank you. That's Chief Leroy Denny. He is the president of the Escazoni Eagles. You're listening to the intermission of Carstar. Cape Breton Eagles Hockey, 1270 CJCB.